Lucas chose the fabric. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, if you want, you can This is yeah, Kathy. I this just, is a yeah. test. I though. just took oh, them yeah. off her table. That's okay. a good one. Very good. Yeah. Better mark. I'm ready. Okay. Um, we're ready to put our projects together, our, our quilt together now. Uh, and layout is going to be the hardest part of that. You were to go home and trim all of your blocks to six and a half inches with your center corner being at the three and a quarter inch mark. Okay, as best you could, you wanted this corner to come together. Can uh, you do that again? Okay. This corner? This corner here, we want it at the three and a quarter inch mark with the outside edges me measuring six and a half. The reason is, if we can just fan over here to our quilt, we're going to be lining up our interior squares either right together where we change directions or in opposition to each other. So there are going to be times where, uh, many, many times where we want these points to come together, okay, properly. And so the way that we've pressed them, they should come together in opposition here. Here is where we're going to have some problems and we're going to have to rearrange our pressing, okay? But it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. So if this was a row and we were putting these together, we would want to make sure that in combining these two pieces, we butt those seams right together and we have our edges lined up, okay? And we would sew that seam together straight down the line and then these will come out perfect yes mm -hmm. all right we have that instance where these are going to change direction because we want that kind of interesting um, change of pattern happening when we come into a situation like this we're obviously we could have seems in opposition or if we don't and it has to do with these seams these are already locked in so you can't just simply flip the seam and have that fall into place for you there's they're locked in so what we would do is snip these on the diagonal okay not the straight grain if we clip it on the straight grain the whole It'll thing will fray gone. open mm -hmm. yeah so you want to clip on the diagonal, and I don't want to cut Kathy's because it's not necessary for this block for her. And then this section will be turned in the opposite direction, and this section can remain, okay? And it will be flat and then once you it. snip that seam allowance. You're only snipping the seam allowance. And then you would go ahead and stitch it together, open it up, and you've got another perfect seam, okay? Now we have, once we get all of our rows together, because you do combine this row by row, okay, after you've laid out your pattern, you're going to play a little bit with your color, you're going to choose to have some things go together and some things not, um, try and mix things up as best you can, and then there are going to be places where you might want to flip your half square triangle seam, that's a piece of cake because that's your last seam that was sewn onto those blocks. So once you do your layout on your tablecloth or however, whatever you've brought to lay your, uh, your, your pieces on, your six and a half inch squares, you wanna look in, in uh, to see where you can maybe flip seams to work for you in terms of um, in opposition, butting up easily because there will be some places where you can do that. Um, and it's obviously here I'm talking about these joins at this point here, okay? Now, you had some extra blocks. You did not, you needed these extra blocks, the half square triangle blocks, because they complete our pattern around the outside. You have a few of these left over to just draw the pattern out into your um, border <laughs> out into your border we're not talking border right now though okay I want you to go ahead and start putting your your rows and your color matching 
go through your color matching and uh, organizing of your six and a half inch blocks. Once that's done and you've sewn all those together, we're going to talk about your border and it becomes a mathematical arrangement at that point. Uh, most of you have six and a half inch blocks? Yes. Okay, and for those that don't, then we work, uh, we work a little bit differently with your mat. Okay, but this is really important that when you trimmed, you trimmed that to the center of your blocks. Okay, that's the challenge for this morning. Perfect. Laying this out and starting to sew those rows together. And you are, don't, <coughs> don't get upset that you're going to have to flip some seams. You're going to have to flip some seams because we are completely changing direction. Okay, and that's just going to be part of the process. All right? Yeah. Okay.